Now, many foreigners in Japan are anxiously following the radiation emissions from the damaged nuclear facility. I spoke with David Ndarama, a Zimbabwean living in Tokyo, with his wife and two children. He says that he's lived in Tokyo where traumas are common over time, but for, and he's lived there for nearly eight years, but says this quake was a frightening experience. At first, it started slowly. We were in a meeting on the third floor, but later we discovered it was becoming continuous. Usually, tremors happen a few seconds, it's over, but this one was continuous and becoming heavier until we were all advised to get down through the staircase to the floors and find a place where it was much safer. That's when we discovered that, well, this was far more than whatever we have experienced here. Were you scared for your life when you realized course, what was going on? Of course, not only for myself, but I thought also of my wife and my children in school. So immediately I tried to call and all phones were down. The cell phones, the landlines, nothing was working at that moment. Everything just went dead. So a friend of mine drove me home. That's when I discovered, well, some things, few things, not much, were broken, but everybody was safe at home. I understand that there are some aftershocks, but the biggest fear is this leakage of radiation coming in from Fukushima. Everyone is being asked to stay home. Yes, that's true. We have heard of that and we are still monitoring. What is happening now is even getting in touch with the authorities at home about the situation here and we're also looking at the comments from other specialists. But the truth of the matter is uh, with time I think it will not be safe. So many people are also planning to get out of Tokyo. Although we are still monitoring the situation to see how serious and how far it can go. So at this point are you still going to work as usual and life has just returned to normal? No, not usual. <laughs> life is not normal. We may appear like normal, but we are just prepared, we are on our later, that if it comes west to the west, then we have to leave. Are you in touch with your other Zimbabwean counterparts, colleagues, and also understand there's a pretty big African community in Tokyo? Yes, yes, we are in touch with uh, the Zimbabwean community. We all send like um, text messages to find out or to share what is happening. Like when there was that fourth explosion from the Fukushima nuclear plant, I didn't know it but I got a text from some other Zimbabwean telling me that well there's another explosion we are expecting this so we are all up to date so it's like a, the Zimbabwean community here we've tried by all means to find out where every Zimbabwean is and then we make sure that everybody is safe there are some especially the SADC members most particularly those from Malawi Zimbabwe Zambia Mozambique of course we are sharing some ideas on how things are going and also some other friends and relatives all over the world we've been receiving phone calls emails uh, quite a lot of communication is going on. David Ndarama is a Zimbabwean private businessman living in Tokyo.